Hey guys, you're watching Downski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn a cheeky way to help Photoshop help us make better selections in Photoshop. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and you can see I've opened up an image. We have someone from a SWAT team. He's wearing very dark SWAT gear. We have a dark background. So this is going to be quite tricky, especially with these parts here that are shadowed to make a good selection. So there's lots of different ways we can do this. Let's try with the magic wand tool. I've got my tolerance set to 30. So this is the range so that it will sample colors and everything to make that selection. So the higher the tolerance, the higher the number, the more will be captured in that selection. So if we click on the background, you can see it captures pretty much the entire subject as well. It can't distinguish between the subject and the background. If I go to select and deselect, this shortcut here is definitely worth remembering. We'll drop the tolerance down to 10. We'll try and select the background again, and it does still capture quite a lot of the subject. So we'll deselect that. We can left click and hold on the magic wand tool, and we get the quick selection tool, which is my personal favorite. You can click and drag and it gradually will start to select areas that could be grouped together in the selection. So this is better. We've kind of, it's clipped into the gun a little bit and a little bit into its helmet. And if we go down here, you can see uh, it gets a lot harder. Now you can hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and then click to remove from the selection. So just by clicking, and dragging you add to the selection holding alt and clicking you remove from it but you can see it gets so far and then it includes part of the soldier especially these shadowed areas in that selection so let's deselect that there is a better way to do this and this is a little hack that i like to use a lot of the time so we'll go to the bottom of the layers panel click the adjustment icon and go down until we see levels you can also do this with brightness and curves as well but i like to use levels and you can see it adds this as a separate adjustment layer. And I just grab the mid-tones here and bring this up. So this obviously looks awful and we, we don't want this, but that is the beauty of using an adjustment layer. We can turn this on and off and delete it when we're finished. So I'm going to select the background. Now I can clearly see where the edges of the soldier are and where the background is. And this also helps Photoshop. So now I can go up here with the quick selection tool selected and select sample all layers. So we've now helped Photoshop out in making this selection. So I always like to use a smaller brush. You can quickly adjust the size of your brush using the left and right square brackets on your keyboard, or you can also adjust it from the drop down up here. We've got the size slider. If it's capturing too much still, just go for a smaller brush and you can see we'll start brushing and it captures a little bit still as well. So we might need to hold Alt and go over some of that. But when we get down here, you can see it does a fantastic job of capturing all around that arm. So we've adjusted the levels and it made it a bit more difficult to cut out the gun and the part of the helmet. But down here where the shadows were a real problem before, it's just cut that out with ease. And I'll bet that if I try and select this right side, it'll pretty much capture everything in one go. Might struggle around here, but we'll give it a go. So I'm just gonna go up here, click. Oh, and there we go, that's a pretty good job. It's caught a little bit in there, so I can hold down Alt. And just make sure that is removed from the selection. But all down here where there's a lot of shadowing, if I turn off the adjustment layer, you can see that's a pretty difficult selection to make. And it's got a little bit of the microphone there, but that is pretty good. So adding this adjustment layer and then sampling from all the layers just makes it easier for Photoshop to make that selection in some of the areas that are a little bit difficult. And as I say, now we've finished with this, we can actually turn off our levels layer. And if I select the background, I could click the add layer mask icon from the bottom of the layers panel and nothing happens because this is still a background image. So I will need to double click this and turn it into a normal layer first, but then I can click the adjustment icon. Uh, the layers icon rather and it's the wrong way around of course but all we need to do is go to image adjustments and select invert it will flip our mask around and now we have a pretty quick and easy cutout of that soldier on a background 
Of course, I do definitely recommend taking a bit more time to zoom in and refine that selection, but if you're having trouble making a selection and that distinction between the subject and the background, if they're both very dark or both very light, using levels to temporarily adjust the midtones, the shadows and the highlights in your image to make that selection uh, easier to see is a great way to help make better selections. Okay, there we go. So that's a cheeky way to make better selections more easily in Photoshop. I use it all the time when I'm cutting stuff out. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions, please do drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.